So if you didn't know, I've been skating for like over three years now uh, and over the years I've changed a lot of boards. I've also bought a lot of boards I've never skated yet. So uh, today I just want to go through my skateboard collection, all the decks, uh, what's special about each of them, how to skate and uh, so yeah I just want to show, just want to go through all the board collection I have as of now. Okay so welcome to my room. Uh, the first one First board I'll be showing is this board that I have here displayed in my room uh, in this corner. It's a Element Skateboard Niger Houston's Pro model. Uh, it's from the. It's actually a board that is from the 2013 Sea Games that's held in Singapore, and it's a autograph board by all the I think the DC Shoe team that came over to Singapore to skate that year. So Niger Houston, Wes Kramer, Ryan Desenzo, and all those skaters that was here at the time. So it's actually a skated board. It's not a complete new. Uh, there's stickers here that was bought from the time. I bought it from this uh, this guy that sold it on Carousel. And so yeah, I just got it because I'm a huge Niger fan and it's just a cool collection that I like to have in my room. So if we just turn around next, uh, this is the first, I mean the most recent board I got. Um, it's a girl board, Griffin Gas <coughs> Pro model, and I just think it's super sick. I got it with the uh, Ines fifty five hundred dollars that's given for free. So yeah, I got this at Go Skate Skate Shop. Next, moving on is this Mo Skate. So it's a girl skateboard. Uh, as the name suggests, it's Mike Mo's Pro model. Um, it's a parody of the famous Muska skateboard so yeah I got this as well because it's pretty sick and I'm a huge Mike Moore fan um, I just got it to hang on the wall and it looks cool I'm probably not gonna skate these uh, I'm just gonna use them as display boards alright so the next one is the Santa Cruz board so the Santa Cruz board is very used very well used and worn down as you can see from the board side marks and all these uh, wax you can see on the board but actually it's a uh, it's honestly not that bad the wear because it has this layer of I forgot what it's called I think it's called ever slick so it's this like plastic layer and it makes it skate really well it makes it pop really well and also last longer than normal boards um, also what's special about this I'm not gonna take it off wait let me just see if you can see from the back yeah so I have this I bought this pink shake junk grip tape to go with it just cause I'm really into like uh, well back then at least I was really into like these colorful colors uh, like these rainbow themed pink colors so yeah pretty cool and then this board uh, is actually my first skateboard I've ever owned so as you can tell it's there's not a lot of wear most of these wear come from like uh, dropping in you know I was trying to learn drop ins on this board um, and I, when I was skating this, I didn't even know how to do ollies and kickflips yet. So, yeah, there's not a lot of wear. Most of them come from just being bad at skating and not actually from grinding or sliding anything. But I actually bought this with my own money uh, that I've got that I won from a swimming competition. So, yeah. All right. So this is it for my room. Oh, and. So there's this one board that's on the floor next to my helmet here. Uh, there's not much to say about this. It's not a skateboard I would actually skate. I just got it for fun. Uh, I wanted to just, you know, I was kind of bored, so I just drew this. And on top it says, hope he took his bad deals and made a royal flush, which is a lyric from a song by Olivia Rodrigo. Um, so yeah, and on the back, uh, wait, okay, so on the back, there's some more pictures, some more uh, words I wrote that come from poems and songs that are related to death because the whole theme of this board I wanted it to be like death themed uh, just because I thought it was kind of cool and I'm kind of obsessed with like uh, all this stuff. Anyways, so yeah, so that's it for my room. 
All right, so moving on, we're gonna go to my living room, which is where most of my skateboards are stored. So firstly, let's look at these right here on the floor. All right, so I'm just gonna go through these one by one. Firstly, it's this skateboard, a girl skateboard. Um, I can't remember exactly which pro model. Oh, it's Niels Bennett. Yeah, it's a Niels Bennett skateboard, as it says here. And this is quite cool. It was quite expensive actually, but the cool thing about this is that it's the last board I got from this skate shop that I've um, like went to basically my whole uh, skating career. And it was also the last board I bought before I came over to Singapore. Uh, so it's quite special. I filmed a lot of videos on this with this board in Singapore and also in Suzhou with uh, back in China with a lot of my old skate friends. And uh, supposedly this yellow girl logo is meant to be glow in the dark, but I've tried it a few times and it doesn't really work, or at least I don't really see that it works, so I'm not sure about that. But you know, uh, I've used this a lot, as you can see here, there's a lot of cracks and a lot of chipping. So yeah. So beneath this is, oh uh, yeah, so beneath this is a quite, it's a pretty wide board, I think it's like uh, 8.5 or something. Uh, honestly, there's not really any story behind this. I just got, I got this for free at a skate park. Someone didn't need it, so I just left it. They just left it there and I just took it home. But I didn't actually end up skating it. Alright, moving on. Uh, oh, okay, so this skateboard with uh, this snake skin and it says dog on top. Thank you. Not to be seen this way. All right, so it says dog on top. It's a pretty cool skateboard. It looked really good when it was brand new, but obviously now that it's skated, uh, doesn't look that great. But I didn't skate this a ton. Uh, mainly just did a bit of like board slides. I can see maybe skate a bit of no slides, but that was pretty much it. I didn't really skate this much. I also got this for free. Uh, it's by this Chinese brand called Doggies, and it's very famous in China. Uh, I don't really see it anywhere else except for China actually. But when it was brand new, it was really cool. It was given by this friend I had at the skate shop. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, moving on is this board. Um, to be honest, I don't even know what the brand of this board is, but it's a pretty good quality board. Um, I got it in this state. I got it second-handed uh, and the reason why I got this board actually is because it was selling for very cheap online and that was exactly what I was looking for I mean I just needed a board because uh, back then I was trying to ollie the six stair and uh, I don't really want to use my main board to ollie the six stair or at least I don't want to use my new board which is this girl board that I just showed you uh, because I didn't want to crack it or snap it because it was expensive and so I got this very cheap alternative. I mean, it works. It's not the best board I've ever skated, but I did the trick, I filmed it. And so yeah, maybe I'll put the clip over here on this video right now, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, definitely not a new board, but it was worth it. Was worth it. <clears throat> okay, next is this Maven skateboard, as you can see from the grip tape. Uh, when it was new, it was actually really shiny, this super nice, purplish top but on the bottom uh, it's actually a pretty basic graphic I mean the brand is called Turd and it's also a Chinese brand uh, I don't really see it anywhere else except for in China and this is actually the second board I've ever had so I also bought this with my own money I think um, I learned a lot of tricks on this I learned Ollie I got my first kickflip on this uh, if I can find a clip I'll put it in this video as well and as you can see, I've skated a ton. Uh, I had a lot of fun in this board, on this board. And I was trying like these slappy no slides. Um, those are not board side marks, by the way. They, they're just from, I think I was learning Rock to Fakie or something. But yeah, this is a very nice board. <clears throat> All right, so next, this grip tape is actually by the same brand as that board. It's called Turd. So as you can tell, the, there's a lot of pictures of poop on this. Tape. But that's besides the point. So the board is a Jamie. Oh, a Jamie Palmer board. Yeah. Um, so the brand is Skate Mafia, obviously, and it's a Simpson 
graphic on a weed farm. Um, it's honestly when it was new, it was really cool. I think I have a, I still have a picture of it when I bought this. Um, but yeah, this is a 8.0 board. But when I skid it, it felt a lot skinnier and a lot shorter than the normal 8.8s. I mean 8.0s that I've skidded. But uh, it pops really well. It skates really well. Um, I got consistent on my. What is it? Oh yeah, I got consistent on my vero flips on this board. So that's where I learned my vero flips. Uh, and also where I started, I think, trying train flips. But I had no luck on this board with train flips. And as you can tell, um, I learned board size on this board as well because I have these very deep board side scratches, which is from board siding ledges. You don't really get these when you're board siding um, rails. So yeah. Okay, so the next one is this board. And it's probably the worst condition I've had. Uh, as you can tell, the whole nose is gone. I mean, it's basically all chipped off. And when I flip it around, the graphics is basically all gone as well. So this is a ProMate board. ProMate is a very popular brand internationally. Uh, it skates super well. So like, I remember when I first started skating this, uh, I was really surprised by how well it really skated. And actually when I got this board, right, um, I actually got, it was when I built a whole new complete. So I got new trucks, new wheels, knew everything that came with this board. So yeah, so that's probably actually why it skates so well. Um, but there's not much to say about this. I mean, I had, I, I think I ollied my first five stair on this board. Uh, I also learned a lot of new tricks. I did, like, I was super into shovels back then and I did a lot of nice shovels on this because of the pop. And I also started trying, I also did a lot of real flips back then on this board and also started trying my tray flips on this board and got quite close with my tray flips but I did not land my tray flips on this board so yeah all right and then next is this board again I got this board for free it's a Baker skateboard as you can tell from the graphic below uh, I just got this for free I got it from the skate park actually I didn't even skate this I didn't even need this at all uh, it's just that they, it was laying around in the skate park and back then I thought Baker was cool so I was really a new newbie like back then uh, I think I just got this board so I can practice my ollies I tried ollieing over it uh, and I didn't have anything else to ollie over so I just took this board and I just took it home to practice so yeah <laughs> there's not much to say about this board alright and lastly from this bunch is again another Maven grip tape but I don't think it's a Maven skateboard, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's another Maven skateboard. Okay, so the interesting thing about this board is that it's actually the board I got after I accidentally, well, not really accidentally, but after I lost my previous board before this uh, into a river. So I threw the board, I was trying to do a finger flip with it. It fell into a river, I never got it back. So yeah, I lost my whole complete. So I had to build a whole complete, and this is the deck I got. It's a carbon, carbon plated board so there's a carbon fiber plating uh, in one of these layers um, it skates super well this deck actually I think pops the best out of all the boards I've ever skated and it also lasted a long time as you can tell the graphics are all gone and I really enjoy skating this um, I learned a not, lot of new tricks on this board uh, including boards as you can tell and the original graphic is super sick actually Alright, so this is my storeroom. Uh, it's quite messy and very not really organized. So I've only got three boards I think over here. Uh, they're all complete and they're all set it up already. So I'm not going to take them out just because it's not very convenient for me. So this is the board I'm currently riding. As you can tell, everything is set up. Uh, it's an April skateboard, Ish Zepeda Pro model. The I got this because I really, I've always wanted to try out an April skateboard. But um, I got this because it was, I think it was on sale at Go Skate Skate Shop. And uh, it's a 7.8 size deck, which is a lot skinnier than what I usually skate. I usually skate uh, 8.0 to 8.1. So yeah, I got this. Um, it took a while for me to get used to it, but honestly, now I'm quite used to it. And it skates really well. Uh, still quite poppy and still quite nice. I think I'll get a skateboard soon though. Uh, I'm not sure when, but yeah. This is the current deck I'm skating on, and the grip tape is just a normal 
a normal growth date. There's really not much to talk about. So below, uh, I'm not going to open up these wrappers. I haven't unboxed these yet uh, because I actually got these sent from my Chinese home. So I think I have pictures of them. So instead of showing you, I'll put the pictures on, but I'll just talk about it right now briefly. This one is a 9.0. I think an old school shaped deck, which means that it only has a tail, it does not have a nose. I got this as a cruiser board and just because I was really into like these old skateboards, like old school skateboarding, so uh, like things like Mike, Vill people like Mike Villali. So I just wanted to get a skateboard that's shaped like this and I thought it was cool back then. But <laughs> honestly, I don't really use it that much. So it's all set up, it has the wheels, the trucks, everything. I just don't really skate it, so that's why it's still in the foam and the bubble wrap. And below is a, um, oh, I forgot the brand, but below is a another cruiser board, and it's actually this is probably the most expensive skateboard I've ever had. Um, uh, I had it a long time ago, but I don't really use it that much nowadays. So yeah, it's a super good deck, um, and a super good skateboard. But if I can find it in the future, uh, I mean if I do open it up in the future, then I'll show you guys. Uh, but I'll put a picture on I'll put a picture of what it looks like on instead of actually showing you just because I can't be bothered to Open up the bubble wrap right now So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my skateboard collection as of now uh, Maybe in the future when I have more I'll make another one. But yeah, all right. Thanks for watching